Today's video topic is Samoralin. Samoralin is a synthetic version of a hormone naturally produced by the body that helps stimulate the pituitary gland to produce growth hormone. This can be beneficial for people that have a deficiency in growth hormone. In addition, it can be used for anti-aging purposes and to boost the immune system. What is Samoralin? Samoralin is a synthetic peptide that contains 29 amino acids, the same ones found in a naturally occurring hormone called growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH. GHRH is produced in the hypothalamus and its main purpose is to signal the pituitary gland to produce growth hormone. While there are natural ways to stimulate the pituitary gland, such as exercise and diet, Samoralin provides a more direct approach. Uses of Samoralin Samoralin is primarily used to treat growth hormone deficiency, GHD, in both adults and children. This deficiency can be caused by a number of factors, including a genetic disorder, a pituitary tumor, trauma, or radiation therapy, but it is used mainly in poor growth cases in children. It is also prescribed to adults over the age of 30 who have begun to experience the symptoms of growth hormone deficiency, such as reduced muscle mass and bone density, increased body fat, and reduced energy levels. In some situations, Samoralin may be used to improve exercise performance, promote muscle growth, and boost energy levels. Dosage of Samoralin Samoralin is typically administered through under-the-skin injections. The doctor will determine the appropriate dose for each individual based on the patient's age, weight, and severity of the growth hormone deficiency. But generally, many patients are prescribed an injection of 0.2 to 0.3 milligrams of Samoralin per day. Side Effects of Samoralin as with any medications, there are potential side effects associated with Samoralin. The most common side effects include irritation, redness, and swelling at the injection area. These side effects are usually mild and should resolve on their own. Some less common side effects include headache, dizziness, nausea, rashes, and difficulty swallowing. In some rare cases, Samoralin could cause an allergic reaction, so it's important to discuss any known allergies with your doctor before beginning treatment. In addition to these side effects, some people may experience joint and muscle pain after taking Samoralin. Also, there are people who should avoid taking Samoralin at all. These people include pregnant or breastfeeding women and patients with hypothyroidism. So, in conclusion, Samoralin can be a beneficial treatment for those with a deficiency in growth hormone. It is generally safe and well-tolerated with few side effects, but it is very important to discuss any potential risks with your doctor before beginning treatment. With the right dose and careful monitoring, Samoralin can help boost the body's growth hormone levels, potentially leading to improved health and vitality. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.